this question uses the addressing modes and it was one of the questions in the gate 2005 exam so consider a three word machine instruction add ar0 at the rate b first operand which is the destination ar0 it uses indexed addressing mode so for what is the indexed addressing mode you can check my earlier lectures but here it specifies that the location of the operand or location is given by a plus the contents of register r0 so r0 is the index register here so whatever is the value a we will add it to the contents of r0 and that will give us the location second operand which is the source operand at the rate b it uses indirect addressing mode indirect addressing mode please check my lecture again it says that whatever is the content or the value contained in b that will be the memory address to which we should go and that memory address the contents of that memory address will give us the final location of the operand so a and b are the memory addresses which are residing in second and third words respectively so since this is a three word instruction if this is the memory layout the first word second word and third word they are comprising the instruction so the second word is containing the memory address a the third word is containing the memory address b the first word of the instruction specifies the opcode index register designation and source and destination addressing modes so the first word over here it is specifying what is the opcode which is the index register and what are the addressing modes of the source and destination during execution of this add instruction the two operands are added that means ar0 is one of the operand operand 1 and the contents of the uh, memory address b and we access that location to get the address of operand 2 so here these two operands operand 1 and operand 2 they will they are the source operands they will be added and stored in the destination so ar0 is a source operand as well as a destination operand so these two will be added and stored back in this memory address ar0 so the number of memory cycles needed during execution of the instruction so they are asking what are the number of memory cycles that will be required during the execution of this instruction so it is assumed that this instruction is already available in the processor so it has already been fetched all these information the opcode the index register value of a value of b it is already available in the processor in the instruction register so this instruction is already available over here all the three words have been fetched and now this instruction is being executed so the number of memory cycles that will be required during execution so first of all we know that the first operand is at a plus r0 we already have the value of a in the processor because the instruction has been fetched all these three words have been fetched r0 is already inside the processor suppose the value of r0 was 10 for example and a was memory address say for example 2000 so 2000 plus 10 is 2010 so a plus r0 is 2010 so we will access memory address 2010 so that means this address 2010 will be sent on the address bus this memory location will be accessed and operand 1 will be taken to the processor so this is fetching the operand 1 from a plus r0 this is memory cycle 1 second is we have to fetch the next operand where is the next operand first of all we have to check what is there at address b so address b we have to access that means we will this will be the second memory uh, cycle we will go to memory address b whatever it was suppose it was 2500 so we go to memory address 2500 and see what are the contents at address 2500 suppose this was 
this was address A1, 2800. This is indirect addressing mode. That means this is the final address which is containing the operand. So first of all, we have to fetch this address A1 from B. This is another memory cycle. Once we have that address in the processor, the processor will send out that address to now fetch the operand. So this will be memory cycle 3. So now we have both the operands in the processor. We have the operand 1 from A plus R0. We have the operand 2 from address A1. Now both these operands will be added in the processor and now they have to be stored in the destination. So the destination is again A plus R0. So again whatever was the result of these two operands, operand 1 and operand 2, it will be stored back into this destination A plus R0. So that would require another memory cycle. So the total number of memory cycles that will be required is 4.